Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Where Does the New Black? My name is Kat. And I thought I'd do a reading on the psychology of breadcrumbing. I thought it would be quite interesting to look at like the psychology of it and just anything that spirit had to say. Now, I don't know whether it's going to be like specific characters coming through or not because I don't know what to expect here, frankly. So I'm just going to roll with it and see what happens. But I kind of have an idea of what I'd like answers on. <laughs> okay. Sacred site purpose. It's giving me strong earth energy, pentacle energy coming through with this. It feels very traditional and it feels very um, associated with lineage, um, this energy, which is really interesting. Like... An inherited behavior is what I'm feeling to say. It feels, I know, it sounds really strange. Uh, what I want to say, it feels, it's feeling like there's, there's a limited amount of love to go round. I don't know why I'm feeling that. Uh, I'm feeling like this person feels that love is like is a limited energy or it's a containable energy or there's a certain finite amount of it. It's what it's feeling. This is a really bizarre feeling. Um, yeah, it, like love exists in a physical context is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing coins so i'm seeing like money and i'm seeing coin energy so earth energy is what's coming through so in the physical and that's the body as well there a food i'm hearing food there could be a strong relationship to food here either like a mad sensory sensual passion for or like a kind of starvation of or some kind of strong relationship to food maybe working within that environment as well or could be like what I'm also seeing like physical or manual labor here as well up here I don't know why I'm seeing that I'm seeing all of this like strong earthy fixed rooted energy going on in here that gives me the Taurus vibe which gives me the Venus vibe which gives me that sensuality it feels like the sensual energy is contained it feels like it's it's contained or that it's very strictly limited by this person with themselves or that there's a kind of boom bust energy almost want to say like bulimic as an allegory for that um like this person is like sensorily driven maybe and there's a sensation of being of that frequency being really either out of control or really locked down yeah so it one yeah it's like oh it's complicated it's like a punishment system whereby this person will like maybe binge out on something or some kind of energetic that is very pleasurable and then feel disgusted with themselves or kind of overdo it or really make themselves feel ill with that frequency, like too much of it and then feel really disgusted with themselves and enforce all these limits again and be really like strict with themselves and feel really kind of guilt ridden or kind of this is what I must do and then but because they're putting a lid on this frequency there's this sensation of needing to push or break free out of that and so there's this kind of natural rebellion that occurs maybe if it, this energy is built up too much and this person could like major act out or go on a bender or yeah there's there's this is kind of overindulged energy. It's very strange. So what the spirit is showing me is that there's like a really, really hungry frequency that feels kind of starved here. 
so it's interesting because that's a mirror is what I'm being told that's a mirror for the breadcrumbing it's like that's the energy that this person feeds themselves in terms of them kind of it, allowing that central frequency which is very inherent in them but there's some kind of structure about tradition that is very enclosing of that and it feels like part of their life's mission to kind of break from maybe ancestral patterns that are not that are now long too restrictive or yeah or it, it could be strong religious context here there could be strong educational context there could be strong cultural context there is maybe a very established long held tradition that this person feels that they cannot deviate from because it would make them feel different but they already do feel different is what I'm getting this person is you know it's not an energy of lack of generosity it may seem like that is what I'm feeling to the recipient of the breadcrumbing it may seem like a mean or this is how this person treats themselves and it's got nothing to do potentially with the way that they may feel about you that's what spirit is saying here but the way it looks is that they want to keep you hanging on or they'll keep you starving or they'll keep you hungry because the, this is this person's kind of context of good having something really good that feels really central or feels really connected or feels really different or feels really other or which sees a part of them that is very authentic is what I'm getting but this person is very, very influenced by the energy of tradition, the energy of establishment, potentially. To break context would be to break with their setup or their, their community or their family or their or something long established. And that is Oh, it's a challenge. It, it would be a real challenge. Because this person, it feels like they could already feel like a black sheep or they don't feel like they fit in, maybe. Yeah, I feel like this person doesn't ever really feel like part of the whole. They may feel like their family see them as a function within that family or their community, they perform a function and, and they feel that maybe that's the only part of them that's visible or that is acknowledged by their group or their setup or this person feels very awkward to me in the social space. Crystal ball clarity. There is real insight here with this individual. I feel like they do, that these people have strong intuitive capability but what I'm getting, we've got arrow at the bottom. What I'm getting with this crystal ball and this clarity is that there's two sides to this person. I feel like in their tradition, it's it's their intuition is is part of their lineage in a sense. And at the same time, I feel like their restriction is part of the lineage. There's strong ancestral lessons here. This is not what I was expecting. I mean, I never know what to expect, but it's so specific I'm kind of like I don't know I don't know this is really interesting arrow focus it feels to me like this person has like a very strong concept of what success looks like or they're kind of half they're one foot in the sacred site energy of that traditional kind of setup, uh, ancestral energy, and one foot in the crystal ball energy of like alternative skill sets or esoteric energy that just doesn't sit well within the framework of this 
it's weird because I'm not because I mean it's a sacred site ordinarily I'd get a completely different energy off this but it's not what's coming through purpose I feel like this person feels like they serve a purpose and that's part of what they think that they should consider successful or important but it just feels like the inner nature of this person is in complete conflict to that and I also feel like this person is feels blinkered it feels narrowed it feels like this is the way I must go forward and uh, you know but I feel like that causes an inner crisis and this person just cannot bear the thought of losing you because, and the reason why they breadcrumb is because I feel that there's a sense of you offering a liberating energy because of your difference, because I just don't feel that you're restricted by the same things that this person is restricted by. And that to them feels so refreshing and so like possible and to you know dream outside of this construct that they've got but it also brings up an enormous amount of fear that's what I'm getting an enormous amount of fear like a tower moment kind of energy like it it makes them question their entire construct and that's like losing your faith or, you know, losing my religion. It's a huge frequency, a traumatic frequency. It's a frequency that can upturn the boat. And there's something here that, you know, obviously this is a spiritually important lesson for this person. And I feel like you provide it. There's some kind of energy of you providing this lesson because they're different or you don't follow these kind of constructs or you've breaking, broken a construct or there's esoteric or alternative or refreshingly different mentality. And it seems clear and it seems powerful and it seems compelling, but this person feels fixed and they feel drawn towards it, but they feel fixed, which is why there's this energy of conflict that their intuition says, I should invest more in your situation. I, I really want to, I really want to kind of open up because this is like soul family versus solid attachment or, you know, work or anything like that. It's like, or social construct. This is this is a soul energy frequency that I'm picking up. So clearly this reading is specific to whoever needs to hear it. I mean, I did ask generally, but I actually am feeling it's so specific that it's it's clearly tailoring itself around the people listening, which I'm finding really interesting. Um, it's saying that... It, this person can't bear to let go of the realness of the spiritual reality, but at the same time, they cannot bear to break a space that they deem sacred, that is ancestrally sacred, that they feel is part of their purpose, that it, so there's this, sensation of checking to see if you're there checking to see if you're following checking to see if you're still active still available still compelling still challenging still helping this person like maybe face their 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 life calling or their their spiritual pathway or something like that and at the same time it being completely sort of incongruous to their life and that for me feels like this person is not ready to be clear about who they are yet. Yeah, there's a healing process.
and the physical energy and they do want a traditional relationship with the ring here they do and but the, i mean this person might take an inordinate amount of time it's fixed earth energy you have to go to them <laughs> the sight does not come to you kind of feeling it's it's like and so the breadcrumbing is about trying to encourage you. It's trying to fish for, the, it's throwing the line in is what spirit is showing me. Throwing the line in in the hope that they can reel you towards them because their energy is a fixed position. It's a fixed mark. It's like you have to embed in their space or their community because it's already a structure. Whereas there's no flexing in the earth energy with this person is what i'm getting and i'm also getting that problem with with sensual energy being something that this person might consider like wrong or forbidden or not or dangerous or unbalanced or not acceptable or to maybe they they yeah there could be some bulimic addictive kind of shame inducing and then overindulging frequency going along here present the middle world they stay very much focused in the physical this person very much house home money work health Yeah, and then sea creatures at the bottom, look, immersion. And again, that's giving me a sense of like being like a, a part of the community. That horse is giving me kind of earth energy as well, actually. I mean, it just feels very solid and very like knight of coins. Yeah. Working slowly, steadily, but it's like the family dynasty kind of feeling. The ancestors, I am not surprised to see this. There's some kind of ancestral lineage here that that needs to, or ancestral karma that needs to be wrapped or wrapped up with the shame and energy at the bottom. It's giving me a sense of like, it says completion. So it's giving me like the world vibes coming through here. It's that there needs to be some some kind of payment or yeah karmic payment or this person is kind of spiritually trying to confront breaking old embedded karmic patterns in their lineage shaking it up but they are working hard within this and they might feel it's their calling intuitively even if there is this strong energy it's it's like the spiritual connection versus the physical connections and so this person cannot commit wholeheartedly they can't they can't leave the spiritual alone because of you know notch the door open to spirit next thing you know it's sitting in your lounge with a cup of tea and you're like oh you've moved in <laughs> it's it, you know and that's what's happened with this person but they have to break physical constraint to be able to walk their pathway. It's not an easy task that this person has spiritually set themselves. Do not wait for them. There's part of them that wants you to wait, that wants you to, you know, stand here while I chisel the rock out of the cliff and build a temple. I'll be back in five. That's the energy. <laughs> Whatever it is that they're trying to work on or towards or... It's a long-term goal, a long-term frequency. And I feel like they're fixed. They, they will not change this. They will not break this space until they have, they feel they can leave it in a solid space. Wow, it's like cathedral building. It's just, that's what I'm seeing. It's just like 
so embedded this energy the trickster trust the great mystery and the rattle challenge yeah it's a real challenge for this person to break into fuller energy to take a jump to take a leap to um, jump into unknown territory and it, there's a strong codependency like that's coming through with that a strong need for them to feel that you've got their back or other people have their back in order to be able to do this even if it means they're investing nothing into the relationship and everything into whatever it is they're working on they still want support in that and there's so this breadcrumbing energy in the hope that they get something back but most of the time they're distracted by the physical so they're forgetting about that until they need it because this person is so in the physical that I feel like they struggle on an emotional level to to embrace the higher lesson or there's a lot of fear about breaking with tradition a lot a lot rattle dispersion and this person is afraid to trust themselves and is afraid to jump but they may fear you jumping because it confronts them with their own sense of not feeling brave enough to jump that's what I'm getting. I don't know if that made any sense at all. Um, is this something else, Spirit on the Rattle? So I'm hearing the noise of it, like I'm hearing that. Uh, yeah, the cleansing of the space. There's something to do with cleansing space here. I'm feeling like this, I'm feeling in my mind, I'm, start, I'm watching a ceremony which is kicking out um, old ancestral lineage that is very restrictive or fear-driven. The ancestors that were driven by the same fears need to be purged from this person's space or this person needs to conduct some kind of ritual to like chase away the fears go into the dark corners is what i'm hearing the darker corners of the psyche so that they can be brave and confront a sense of danger or feeling this person has acute problems with a sense of independence because it's it's almost an embedded mindset of social construct or family or one of many or this person doesn't want to be visible necessarily as the one that changed the game but it's part of their calling that's what I'm hearing it's part of their calling to be seen and to be heard so I think you challenge this person because I think you may well have broken these energies or there's some kind of yeah you've transformed through something um, You've, you've lost things, ended things, and you've walked into a different way of perceiving. And I feel that that is like you've reclaimed your frequencies here with the soul retrieval. And this person is kind of, they breadcrumb you because there's a fascination with how you've done this because it's part of their calling. But they're also not committed at all to this situation. They really invested elsewhere which is why there's this half assed input and the elsewhere energy is very like earth related frequency so it's very in the physical distraction zone yeah that's all i'm getting for that i think that i, I said i would look at the counteractive energy i feel like it's going to be fairly straightforward actually perception runes yeah, I'm feeling like I feel like spirits say, you know, never follow the breadcrumb trail, follow the follow the trail of the pebbles instead. Like the it's something like enduring and long term and that doesn't break down easily and you know learn to read the signs, learn to to understand the signs that are placed in your way to kind of 
navigate you so that you don't get caught on a hook or that you don't get drawn down the wrong avenue where you become less and less fed by somebody less and less appreciated or nurtured or because you're then buying into the shame shadow energy of feeling like you deserve to starve or you deserve to be without this like intimacy or sensuality or yeah um don't that's part of the lesson there sort of changing your perception you've got the I Ching now I'm a big big fan of the I Ching but the changing of the perception and there's two divination systems showing up and then underneath the crystal ball I mean this is all about um trusting intuition that's reading the signs right rising um in your psychic capability in your reading of the universal language understanding that you have to determine the language you would like the universe to communicate to you with um it's not up to the universe to do all the legwork to basically say oh yeah suddenly we're going to present you with this you have to say this is the language these are my this is my alphabet and then the universe will come in and speak to you it's like how do you want to receive it and all these modes are available and i feel like you can gaze you can study you can throw the energy to read it here very very strong divination energy coming through really strong Ovate energy is what I'm feeling to say with this. Yeah, it feels like forcing a change and forcing a change in perception is the only way to break through in a tower frequency, possibly um, to clarity about the fact that this situation is starving is starving you um, but elevating for the spiritual insight into the patterns or the way in which things are in the physical is what I want to say as, as well. Not necessarily how they feel in the 5D but also you know if somebody devotes their time to the physical and they're fixed in that world and no matter how much 5D energy you feel is there from that person, unless you go to them, they will not, it's not viable. And it may not be viable because you're intended to teach them that freedom is highly significant and that you can honor the ancestry and the lineage in different ways that's what i'm getting and and home coming up there's sort of council and lodge again that's giving me like the forum of the ancestors so yeah i feel like there's two very different expressions of ancestral energy in this reading and it's very specific so i have no idea if it resonates with anyone i really hope it does <laughs> but bye then see you soon